Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pomni here is gonna perform something you've seen before. Don't worry, my dear! You won't even die horribly! You've been conspiring with them all along, haven't you? You're the right to spy! Ooh, there's Pi. I wouldn't work with the devil as a spy, ever! <laughs> I know what you are! Leaving my boyfriend, just for a minute. You're not a serial killer, are you? It depends. How many times does it take to get to serial? Five? Oh, no, we're good. Think about it. Thanks, Pomni. Here it is, smartphone. Wait, you should be careful not to get caught by Kane. If he finds the smartphone and sees you fixing it, he might immediately destroy the smartphone. Hey, are you listening to me? Of course. Haha, <laughs> we're escaping. Don't worry, Dollface. Don't worry, Dollface. Don't worry, Dollface. No one's answering? I guess I'll have to call on someone. Get down! You. 22? Wrong! They got Gina! Think about it. Thanks, Pomni. Here it is, smartphone. Wait, you should be careful not to get caught by Kane. If he finds the smartphone and sees you fixing it. He might immediately destroy the smartphone. Hey, are you listening to me? Of course! Haha, <laughs> we're escaping. My name is Clay, otherwise known as Dream Online. One thing you should keep in mind about the amazing digital circus is that everybody that gets trapped in there is inevitably doomed to become abstracted. From what we've been told, you become abstracted once you begin to lose your sanity past a certain point. Side note, I don't really trust Kane, so if you tell me that something else makes you become abstracted, like maybe getting too close to actually escaping, I wouldn't be too surprised. But assuming losing your sanity is actually the thing that makes you become abstracted, they're all pretty much doomed, because as far as we know, they're gonna be there for eternity. In the show, they mentioned that the people that get trapped in here, they don't need to eat or sleep. So it's pretty safe to assume that they probably don't age, which means they're functionally immortal and trapped in a horrifying place for the entire duration of that immortality. So even if you have a really strong will or a strong mind, you might be able to hold on for maybe some years, maybe even some decades. But eventually, because eternity goes on forever, eventually everyone there will lose their mind. We've only seen Pomni's first day and she's already halfway out the door. So imagine after a hundred years, a thousand years, 10,000 years, eventually anybody, no matter how strong they are, will probably lose it. And what happens when you eventually do lose your sanity? You get thrown away into the cellar, sitting in the dark, surrounded by all the other people that went insane before you, just sitting there waiting for your other friends to inevitably go insane, come down there and join you, and then just spend eternity sitting in darkness. So yeah, uh, not a good time. You man, Kill, I said he just like my haircut. <laughs> it can't be that bad. Let me take. <laughs> oh, the pussy damn me is a day. Oh, good. Okay, tell the pie when I told a show man. My dad does her nando calls how may one of my daughter calls her. Oh, now I know my baby beats. Oh, 
let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the show. Jack from Digital Circus, but I can only use Posca markers. Now that we know the rules for this challenge, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start painting Jack's body. Then, we're gonna use a buttery yellow to color in his teeth and then his eyes. Once those colors dry, I can start coloring in his overalls. This next step is super important. The only way to make this look good is by adding shadows and highlights to Jack's. And hopefully this will help the design pop off the page. So time for the most important part. And not doing this could ruin the entire design. So to help Jack's pop off the page, I need to outline my entire drawing. Do you notice this in the amazing digital circus? During the pilot we see a scene where the glowing queen spits out Zubel and Kinger asked her if she witnessed a game show. Oh, thank God you're okay! You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? This was a reference to Little Runmo, which is another animation made by the Digital Circus's creator, Gooseworks. During that animation, Runmo is eaten by a blue monster in the underground, and a game show called The Wheel of Fundus plays out in the monster's belly. A similar game show also occurs in another animation from Gooseworks called Elaine the Bounty Hunter. Why is Jax a rabbit? If you don't know, this is Digital Circus. It's an indie series that's going to drop October 13th. And we're discussing this guy. Now, at first when I heard his name, Jax, I thought of a simple jackrabbit because he's a large rabbit. But these are jackalopes. 
They're an American cryptid, and they're based off a rabbit. These are large, mysterious, not-so-friendly little guys. So as the most immoral character, as said by Gooseworks, Jax totally fits that archetype. He's not a kind, fuzzy, innocent bunny. He's a jackalope, and he's mean as shit. Now before I go, I want to thank this person, this person, man, I love this art style, this lovely person, and many others who I'll mention in later videos, who have sent me their art, writing, etc. It's just wonderful to see. Remember, I take requests. Much love. What you are best and shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Go up to them, say I want a cup. Just say that. But, dude, but what if I mess up? Oh, I'm tired of waiting. If you don't do something in the next five seconds, I'm gonna beat you. Oh. Okay, okay, fine, I'll go up there. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. How can I help you? Uh. <laughs> no. During the pilot, Kane spins a machine to randomly generate a name for Pomni. The first name it selects is XDDCC. The name actually has a couple secrets hidden in it. XDDCC in the Caesar cipher format translates to out. The word Pomni in Russian translates to remember. The name Pomni fits her character incredibly well, seeing that she can't remember who she was previously and is obsessed with getting out of the digital circus. I'm not in high school, I'm already 20! Huh? Sorry, I never would have guessed we were the same age. She's so cute when she laughs. You, me, and Pomni will go check on Kafmo, which leaves Crybaby and Hoo-Ha together to go handle the Zubal situation. <laughs> do you think pairing them up together is a good idea? Of course I do. They're the two most mentally stable and capable characters to be paired together.
you think go I don't You're right, terrible. Let's try that again. What? But that spells Chipok's front.